back to you. If you want to do it fire, if you don't want to do it, okay. No beef, no pressure. Okay. Hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Ride and Chat. Um, I've picked a very lovely sister of mine who is into the sex trade business, right? Um, what you might call prostitution in our local language, uh, Ashawo. And I always say it is only in Africa that we take certain trade to be, ah, okay, we want you to do she's not doing a good work and stuff like that. But when you go out there, like Amsterdam and other places, we have what we call sex tourism. And prostitution plays a major part of that. So they don't play with it. But in Africa, once they say somebody is a prostitution, hey, beef not happen. I beg. Our Lama sister, I mean, she was telling me a lot of things from ritualist to she being arrested in Dubai to the first one she even said um, a lot, a lot. So I'll just keep quiet. The name is Dr. Sam. The, the show is right in charge. My sister, how far? I beg, macho your voice. Okay. <laughs> you can speak PG. Yes. Okay, you told me you were okay with PG, so you can speak PG. Okay. Um, please, you have the floor, you can narrate. All the experiences you told me about. Okay. Yeah. So I met one guy online. Okay, online. Okay, yeah, online. Okay. It's called Insta Message. Insta Message. Yes. Wow. So I met him then. He was like, he was nice to me, like he asked me to come over. Yeah. And then reaching there at midnight, 12 p.m. Yeah. yeah. So I he came out with his friends to come and pick me at the junction. Okay. So when he saw me, mm -hmm. I was like, I thought you were coming out alone. He said, well, she don't worry. But right. it was, he was the only one that called you? Yes, that but was talking to me. Okay, through Insta end, message? Yeah, they ended up being two. Okay. That came out to come and pick me at okay. the okay. So, and I was like, well, let's go, since you guys are two. Okay. And then reaching the end of the road, they said they've locked their main gate. It's an estate. It's an estate. That we have to use the school road. Okay. It's, it feels like us flying friends. I said, oh, okay, no problem. Ah, you have to jump the fence. Yeah, we jump the fence. <laughs> so, how do I roll this thing up? Yeah, we jump the fence yeah. and then uh -huh. oh, when we got there, I saw some boys, they were like up to six boys there in the Ooh. school. Midnight, yeah. And I was kind of scared. Oh why? Like I like to me, yeah, like I feel something is something. about to happen to me, yeah, yeah, you know. So yeah. and then when I was just there relaxing. The next thing I saw was like somebody come from my back to come and like push me into the one of the classroom there and then they started harassing me, talking to me anyhow, they scattered my body, took all my money. They want to even use my mobile banking app. But thank God I didn't give them the pain. Okay. Yeah, so they did all sort of things to me that I like, oh, thank God they, they took my phone. I was able to find my way out. 3 a.m. the same night. Wow. Yeah, it was terrible. So six guys uh raped you? Not really rape, like one of them did. The person who is chatting me okay. did. But the other guys were like molesting me, like talking to me anyhow. Just While the trying other to do something. Yeah, the other guy was there, just you know, pretending that he doesn't know anything, about, anything it. about it. Yeah, but they planned it, you get. Wow. Yeah, so wow. it was wow. terrible. Wow. So yeah. guys, I mean this are you know when I shot the doctor friend, um, you guys were like, these guys go through a lot. Now you are hearing things that our sisters go through. Sometimes I ask myself, why is it that men behave like that? Mr. Jack, you know I was asking you that. Why is it that? I mean, it's just conversation. If you want to have your way with a lady, it's just conversation. If exactly. she feels your vibe, I mean, some ladies will give it to you for you to even become tired. Yeah. You, are, you get my point. Exactly. So when you got to the place, it was one guy that requested yeah. for your service. Exactly. And then when you got there, two guys came out. Two guys came out, so yeah. So they became three. They became three. Wow. And then I saw more than six guys in the school yard. Six guys? Yeah. The school yard. I was the only girl. I was scared. Midnight. Yeah, I was yeah. about to ask that at that moment, what, what was going through your mind? A lot. A lot. were like, am I going to end my life here? Am I going to die here? Like, are they going to really take my phone and leave me and let me go? I okay. wish they would not just sleep with me. Like, sleep with you, yeah. yeah. But because six guys are possible. Oh, no, no. But one person did. But then, like, there was no way I could escape, you know. I just have to play by the rules and then go. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, I regretted that night. It was. Wow. Yeah. I mean, sorry, sorry for this experience. I mean, it's okay. very, 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 very sorry. Because sometimes I know you guys are exposed to the mercy of this man. Oh. 
Because I hear sometimes the men who, 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 who ask for your service, you get to the place and they don't even pay. Exactly. They'll yeah, finish no. and then they'll just... One guy came to tell me on the show, he's an Uber driver who saved uh, a lady in the set straight business. That's what's true. A lot has yeah. been happening, yeah. Wow. Sorry, my sister. So let's go to the next one. Okay. You said you went to Dubai. Oh yes, please. You're a big girl. Oh come on, <laughs> guys. Now let me tell you oh. something. Eh? If you see her face, I'm telling you. If I meet, should I mention your name? Okay. If okay. I meet Sophia at an event and a friend tells me, oh, this is a friend called Sophia. She's interested in you. Blah 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 blah. She wants to be your friend. I'm telling you, I'll go straight and give my number to her. <laughs> She's really pretty. She's oh. really, really pretty. And she knows how to communicate. I mean, she had a good rapport with me. So, Aham, you said you went to Dubai. Yes, please. So. And then there was, I mean, police arrest. Initially, yeah. they came as, as if they were coming to uh, yeah. book your service. Exactly. And then later, they ended up arresting you. So, yeah. she's not a local champion. I mean, she's international. She has gone to all the way to Dubai to do business over there. She's smiling. She said I should do show her face. So, I mean, I respect whatever I'm doing. So, please share the Dubai encounter with me. Yeah, okay. Dhabi. Yeah, it's, okay. it's called African Club. I guess. So, African Club. Yeah, African Night Club. Okay. So I went there. I was just there having fun. But before I went there, like someone has been telling me, go to this place. Go to like I like, have that myself of going to different night club. Like okay. I don't want to sit the one at one place. Okay. But okay. I just like I end up like look, let me stay there and then do my thing. Mm. So when I was inside, around two, three. So that's when the club side started yeah, booming. Like mid I said, okay, yeah, midnight. That's where the barons are. Uh -huh. So <laughs> meanwhile, this guy has been giving me an eye contact in the night. I was like, okay. okay. So let me come out. Like I saw him going out. To me, maybe he was just like telling me to come down so that we can talk about yeah. it. So I came down and I saw the guy. He's an Indian guy. He's, a, he's kind of drunk here. Yes. Okay. So but I'm okay. I know what I was doing. Like yeah, I knew yeah, what I was yeah, doing here. Yeah. Yeah. So he called. And then as we were talking, mm -hmm. like, you know, we were discussing with the, like I was discussing with the guy. Okay. And then the next thing I saw, like the price would bargain, like we didn't bargain well based due to the money or the price or stuff like that. So he left. Okay. So I was just standing hoping maybe I can get, get someone another else, another person, person like yeah. just viewing the area. Okay. So this man just came with some small car, old camera car like that. Mm -hmm. Old one. Yeah, old one. And then he's just laughing. And then he's wearing some Jalabia that is, you know, they call, they call it Jalabia, Jalabia those, those yeah, are the, white, the white dress, yeah. but his, like, his own is just, like, kind of brown, dirty and all that, oh. it doesn't look real, like, doesn't look mature to mature me, I was like, oh, okay, this is just one of the Indian guys, Indian guys. who are just trying to survive, and that's okay, he came around, he was like, oh, babe, was some cool, like, he won me for a short time, oh, like, one hour one or 30, hour, minutes. 30 minutes, and then I said, okay, oh. I'll charge you 500 drahams, which is converted to which the is about or dollars. Which is, which is about I think about seven hundred cities or six hundred cities. Okay, okay. And then he said okay, but I'm kind of like down not like okay. Aha, not okay. Like I don't know. Because is of it, his, his does he have the money? I was oh, like, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm just seeing him as some dead guy, like you know, buy his school. But look at me, do I have the money? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, does he have the money? I said, okay. okay, you have to show me the money first for okay. me to follow you. Follow you. That was where I committed a big, big problem. Big? I don't know he was a CID. You get, and I was like, okay, you have to show me the money first. So it's so, okay, let's follow me to my car and I'll show you. He showed me 500 drahams on top of his car. So I said, okay, no problem. And I mean, then I ended, I just sent the money. Yeah, I said, okay, yeah, okay. girls with money, got money. <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, okay, I'll send the money, then let's go, let's ride. Okay. Then I entered the car, the front seat. When I entered the car, immediately I entered the car. Mm -hmm. And the next one to two minutes, mm -hmm. I swear, this guy hold break immediately. And then he was like, this is my ID, I'm a CID, you are under arrest for doing this kind of job. I said, what? What, what did I do? You can't just come and arrest me like that. Yeah, Why? Yeah, for what yeah. reason? He was like, oh, don't worry. If we take you to the station, your papers are correct, then we'll leave you. Guess okay. what? What? I said, okay, no problem. Because there's no way I can run or escape from there. Escape from there. You're already this guy, in this you see, you, those guys are break people's house, huge and tall. If you see, you'll be afraid. <laughs> like, his chest is something else. Wow. I said, okay, no problem. And then the funny part is, I said, okay, now I'll go with you. Then when we got there, reaching the, the bus, so they have the car that normally put people that they arrest. Then when I entered inside the bus, I saw three of my roommates. 
Did you have your roommates in Dubai? Yes, in Dubai, in the same <laughs> council. Oh, the two of them are from Uganda. Okay. One is Nigerian like me. And then a Ghanaian? Yeah, no, no, there's no Ghanaian there. Okay. And then I was like, oh, really? What are you guys doing here? The same thing I'm doing is what they're also doing there. Like, they caught them. They the caught same them. way they also got me. Wow. Man, it was terrible. And I got there. I spent, like, I was having two months stay over there in Dubai, in Dubai there okay. so but they didn't leave me like they were like so you have to pay something. I have to I have to stay there like I did my 2019 Christmas my 2019 like 2020 New Year in the cell like it was terrible like wow 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 it was very, so guys very like I always say yeah. if you meet people on the road and you don't ask them how are you doing you will never hear their stories she actually spent like two months in cells in Dubai, yeah, okay, because they tricked her. CID tricked her that oh, I'm coming to take you for a one hour service. They charge 700 Ghana cities, uh, which is she said 600 something round or something, yeah. Now, when she got into the man's car, bam, they've arrested her. That she said, Did the man arrest you because you are from Africa? No, he arrested me due to like the tests, like he. He's he, like he's like he came to test me if I'm really doing this well. Like, oh, I'm really doing so you are not allowed to do prostitution no, over there at the around that. Allowed, oh, never okay, allowed. Never okay, allowed. So okay, we okay. do it on code. Like it's, get, yeah, okay, I get the code. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then the place I messed up. Like had I known he was a police uh, no, a CID man, I would have asked him to show me money. Like well, show me the money. The money. You would have just uh -huh, said, let's okay, go. let's go. And then I know how to play my roles. Maybe. If I end up seeing that he's a policeman, maybe I'll just act cool like one innocent what? girl and come out free. <laughs> and I'm telling you guys, if Sophia meets you in time, she's acting like an innocent girl. You think she's just a, a small girl that knows nothing. And you two, you men, you foolishly go and fall into that trap. Sophia, then know your bank account for you to know that. <laughs> no, she's a lovely lady. I'm just saying that yeah. for you guys to laugh. I mean, she's she's a lovely, lovely lady. Yeah. So that that has been her, her encounter in Dubai. Mm. She went to Dubai to do business. Um, I I hate to use the word prostitution. Me, I see it to be business. Other side of the world, Amsterdam, prostitution is a big deal. It's a big business that girls do out there. If you have friends in Amsterdam, they tell you, brother, it is in Africa that you people see this business as if say it is something come to Amsterdam and see something, travel and see something. So she went to Dubai, I mean, she had to expand her, her, her business empire, oh? So she yeah. decided to travel outside. So she said Dubai, it is not allowed to do prostitution out there. But you know, they, they, they run code, you know, you know, now if you're on the street, you know what code means, yeah. you understand me? Best way get eye, now in the see best way get eye, you understand? <laughs> Am I lying? It's true. So they use code on the street, but yeah. the mistake she made was, when that CID man came for her, she asked for money first. And then the man, I mean, quickly arrested her and she has to spend. So did you pay money over there? I didn't pay anything. They so they just jail you for two yeah, months? Yeah, for two months. Like, I, I had to come back with my return ticket. I didn't pick any of my things, my stuff, and I just paid for a rent over there. Oh. My stuff, my hair, my wig, everything, like, all went there and then that's all. That's so how is the sex business in Dubai? The, the, the business over there? Mm. You guys, you have to hide to do it? Yeah, we have to. Like... Mostly it's online, like you charge okay, people, okay, 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 you okay, get okay, to meet okay. them in their private in zone, their private wherever room. they are, yeah. But aren't you girls scared? That's one question something I want to ask. Uh, like yes. you meet different, like this giant you met. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, <laughs> is giving me eyes. It's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But well, you don't. You were not scared. You, you have like, you will be scared. But the thing is, you just don't have to put that at face like you are scared. Okay, okay, if they notice okay. that you are scared, scared they can you use you exactly. So, but you just have to use a strong mind. Like, ah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but you are still scared. Like, but you, you, you see things that scare of you. You be like, oh, God, please save me. Save me. Man. Oh. So, oh, you know, these are some of the places where I say ow oh, ow oh, because it's like she's innocent. If you see Sophia, you know, one of these days you allow me to show her face, maybe in another episode. Okay. So let's go for the, the third one, the, okay. the ritualist thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a friend of mine, I was saying this same there with her, she told me a, a story about how some girls went to meet some, some, some guy from a state, from the guy is from Nigeria, so there's a state called Anambra State. Anambra, yeah, I've heard of her. Yes, yeah, so. And then the, the, the two girls are from the same state with the guy and then he is the boss. So he usually send boys, give them card to come and pick 
girls girls and bring them to their soul like you know do whatever they want to do with them so when they got there and then the girls were like okay like they've reached the place and then they saw different guys not the two that came to put them like they saw different guys over there and the boys came out so you two girls this are like where are you guys from like the, the boss was asking them and the girls responded they are from Anambra State and the guy was like oh these are my people like do you know what saved you guys what saved you is that you are from the same state with me and I don't have that mind to hurt you guys like you understand and then the girls were like those guys are ritualists that wow. they saw different things some human parts over there like scores girls hair wigs so many things that they, they like they've used so many girls over there for ritual i guess like the story was touching when i heard it and then they said like due to the same states were like he they used them as sisters. sisters yeah okay, so okay, he's okay. like he, he like he allowed them to go to out of sympathy yeah out of sympathy exactly so and then they came they were like one of them said when he got her she fainted and i was like hey thank god <laughs> <laughs> my life is saved like i didn't just die out of nothing how much is it going to pay so wow. that's it it's not you know insane. i've heard i've heard of stories that yeah. i mean some of these big men uh use some of the prostitutes prostitute or the people in businesses like you uh for rituals and stuff oh, like that yeah. but you telling me forehand now i understand that it's something that is actually it's happening, happening yeah. and your friend saw it he saw it and, and one of them came and she fainted was like oh she what's fainted I, yeah what she saw there like she can't explain human parts and stuff different like thing that. hair ladies hair a lot is happening my dear a lot you said a lot so is yeah. happening oh it is yeah wow now there's this question that i, I want to ask um, fine, the ritualist you've told me a lot. Do you plan to get married one day? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get married and enjoy my home and take care of my husband like never before. Wow. Wow. Oh, of course. You know, I've always wanted to ask this question. Like. <laughs> so, um. There's, the connection just happened. The yeah. marriage just happened, right? Yeah. And she said yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, how would your husband feel if he knows the business you were into before? Would you tell him this is this was okay? This was what I was doing, mm-hmm. or out of fear that he might? Because honestly, Sophie, if me I meet you in town and you don't tell me you are into this business. I swear to God, I will never put you there. Okay. I will just see myself and I've met, I've met a beautiful girl yeah. who is so calm, so lovely. You laugh, yeah. like yeah. you're so entertaining. Yeah. So, I mean, let me take you home, introduce you to my family members. Ah, I've built one house and some place, I have one car. Me and you can start life. Okay, you so, understand? Yeah. Until maybe one day you decide to say, Oh, my dear, I have a secret I have to tell you. Yeah. Uh, when I started, because there was no money or something like that, now I used to be a prostitute. Now I'll faint in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's true. Like, but one thing about me is honestly, the one thing about me, yeah. I don't judge. I've picked people that have told me things. Yeah. I don't judge people. Yeah, exactly. People have reasons why they do things. Yes, it's true. I always say, once what you're doing is not harming your neighbor, yeah. I have no problem. Exactly. You get it. Yeah. But if you decide to harm your neighbor, that's why I have a problem. Exactly. So would you tell your husband, mm. your your serious fiance that okay, you know, I have to be clean. Okay. I used to be this, 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 I used to be a prostitute, blah 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 blah. If I see that it is leading to a husband thing, like it's serious about me. It's not just there for one or two, one or two, four rounds though. <laughs> like I don't want to hide anything from my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want the situation whereby some days then and then I will be too cold when I'm with him. Like I will be scared that like, somebody will just come and tell him this girl has done this, this in the and past. then he will be so disappointed. Like he would have heard it from me. Again. Which would have been nice. Nice. Uh, if he's ready, that's fine. If he's not, then I'll just, just I'll just go and tell my girl what should I do next. <laughs> so, but. But, but it's not easy to say to uh, yeah like, it's not easy like Sophie. like like you know to know what how it's gonna feel like yeah but Sophie, honestly it's not easy for you to gather courage and tell your, yeah, your exactly. fiance that see this but is, if this i hide it if 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 i hide it it's not gonna be nice she watches car yeah over- is he overheating over- he doesn't know actually he can It's overheating, he didn't realize it. Yeah. 
Okay, so it would be hard for you to do that. Oh yeah, but I think that's the best way. Just tell him. Just by tell it. the so person. Very hard, like. For me, if you are dating me, you have to tell me. Exactly. I will swallow it. Me. Oh. But you have to first know who you are dating before. Yeah, that's what I say. If it's leading to husband thing, you just don't have to tell. You don't know his intentions yeah. towards you. So. You might change his, his behavior. Yeah, huh? So you just have to. So guys, I mean the program is right in charge. Your host is Dr. Sam. Uh, Sophie, I'm telling you on authority. If I show you Sophie's face, I'm telling you. Uh, you will tell me, dog, where is the number now? Where is the number? I'm ready to marry her. <laughs> I'm ready to marry her. She has this sweet smile too. And she's very lovely. Sophie, do you have anything to add? Uh, I think I'm okay. Like, uh, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Okay, so so far, those are some of the encounters you've had on the yeah, job. Yeah, exactly. How many okay. years? Okay, the one that happened was in Dubai was 2019. Yeah. And then the one I was telling you about, the guy I met online, it happened, I think, last year. Last year. Last okay, so year. how many yeah. years have you been in the business? Okay, I think I started when I went to Dubai, 2019. Oh, okay. But I stopped for like a year or so, like two years. Again. You stopped. Yeah, I stopped. Why? Something happened. I don't have to. You know what to say. <laughs> yeah. So. Sophie made I the man came, of her dream, so, so she stopped. Yeah. So, oh please. <laughs> <laughs> so I came September last year. Okay. To Ghana again. And then you started and again. And then I started September. Okay. But trust me, I'm going to end it this year. You're going to end it this year. Why? End it this year. When I get the money I want, just I just need the money for my business. Oh, I like and that. Nice I like business. that. When I, I like get that. the money and get a God fearing husband, because I'm a God fearing woman. That's why this week. Oh, you go to church a lot. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, yes, so, and then I was my so goodness, pain. guys, she's actually a church rat. <laughs> So on the show, we call yeah. ladies that go to church, church rat. Oh, okay. You sleep at church, you sweep church, oh, no, 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 you preach at church, no, 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 you sing at church. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't sleep but I know, like, I yeah, fear yeah, that fear there God are God some God. things I can't do. Because yeah. I know it's against, it's against God. I might not be going to church, like, every Thursday, every day, but I fear God. Yeah. So guys, Sophie has the, she doesn't want to do the business for her. She said this year she's going to stop. Yeah. She's just packing some money down, saving some money. Yeah. Uh, she'll stop and start. What business do you want to do? Okay, I want to own a big boutique for myself and a restaurant if possible. I, I like the restaurant. Them. Boutique business is collapsing. Because yeah, I have friends that yeah, are into true. boutique business. They are outside there. They will tell you. Exactly. Tell you. People are not buying again. But the restaurant, everybody eats every day. Everybody Even though you don't have money, you have to eat. You have to eat. Yeah, so restaurant, restaurant is good. Transportation business is good. Yeah, so that's a good take that. Idea. Do you know how to cook? Oh yes, I'm good. Ah, <laughs> one of these days, I'll go to Sophia's place and oh. play, uh, cross my leg and say, Sophia, today I'm going And to I'll eat. make a good pantadiam and a bowl of soup for you. You will like wow, it, trust wow, me. Wow, wow, wow. That one is the one that has a lot of pepper in it, right? Oh, if you want more pepper, I'll add it. Wow, it depends. Wow. So guys, I've gotten a free meal from... from <laughs> I, know, I know people who don't understand the free meal. Free meal is done in food, though. Biko, it is food. Yeah, right? that's super Biko. <laughs> it's Biko, yeah, it's yeah. nice. So, I mean, I mean, we'll wrap it over here. So, I like the way she concluded she wants to go into uh, restaurant business, which is, it is actually good. Yes, yeah, exactly. it's actually good. She started about two years or three years ago. That's 2019. Uh, she stopped for two years yeah. and then she came back because she needed some money. Um, it all has to do with money. Honestly, if you, if anyone, uh, see people have spoken to, they tell you, look, everything is about money. Once they get the money, a lot of them stop to go and do business. And Sophie, do you want to put your Instagram handle, your number, if people want to reach, or you're scared that if you stop the business, still people will still be calling you that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That would be nice. But can you add that for me? You, can I add? On the on the on yeah, the screen. Okay. Yeah, you can screenshot your Instagram this thing for me. Okay. And add, but you can mention it first of all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the thing is. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see the phone. Uh, so. Africa. Wow. Okay, so I'll show it on the screen. Afterwards, I will I will take the screenshot and put it there. Uh, let me write it here so that people will say it well. DM Sophie. Afric. Afric. Uh, it is called Afric. Uh, so that's it. That's it. So guys, reach out to Sophie. Um, 
whatever you want, a good service. Okay, <laughs> she's laughing. I use the word good You're service. Funny. It's not I'm funny. I use the word oh, good service okay. because I'm telling you, Sophie is a pretty girl. She's very, very pretty. Oh. She's very, very pretty. I go to events a lot. If I meet Sophie at events and a friend introduces you to me, I'm telling you guys, it has to take months before I realize that, ah, that <laughs> my sister carry. <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't mean it. <laughs> Um, so guys, thank you for watching. The show has been uh, riding chat. I've been riding with Sophie, who is into the sex trade business, or what you call prostitution. She wants to stop this year and go into business. I've already found a husband for her, so nobody should come and interrupt. The husband is actually around. So please, uh, God bless everyone for watching. Thank you.